when you were younger, you were, if not an atheist, an agnostic. Mm -hmm. How did you transform yourself from being either an atheist or agnostic to somebody who's a committed Christian? It does seem like an odd story, doesn't it? Well, growing up on the farm, my parents were not opposed to religion. They just didn't think it was particularly relevant. So I had no religious background. Got to college, you know, those conversations in the dorm about what do people believe, and I didn't think I believed in any of it. So I was an agnostic, but I, by the time I got to graduate school, I was shifting even more to being an atheist, and I would not be too comfortable keeping quiet if somebody was talking about the supernatural because it was all about, you know, nature and how you study it and how you describe it. And then I went to medical school. And that third year of medical school where you're thrust out onto the wards and you're sitting at the bedside of wonderful people uh, whose lives are under threat and many of whom are not going to survive. And you really start to realize that your own thinking about life and death has been pretty unsophisticated uh, compared to the reality of what these people are facing. And I realized that I was a scientist. I was supposed to make decisions about really important questions based on evidence, and I'd never really considered whether there might be evidence supporting the idea that there really is a God. I just assumed the answer was no. And that was a bit unsettling, but it seemed like something that I shouldn't ignore. So I began sort of asking those people I knew who were believers, how can you do this without checking your brain at the church door? Because isn't this just a, a perfect example of irrationality? And they told me, well, actually, no, there's a pretty profound rational basis for faith. You might try uh, reading C.S. Lewis, for starters. I'd never really heard much about C.S. Lewis. But picking up some of the things he'd written, particularly Mere Christianity, made it clear to me, oh my gosh, there's an incredibly compelling, intellectual, rational basis for faith, which I had totally missed and assumed didn't exist. It took me a couple of years mm -hmm. of fighting against that, trying to prove that this was all wrong and that I could stick with my agnosticism. But ultimately, I realized I couldn't, that it was so compelling. And then I had to figure out, okay, which of the ways of understanding God is going to be the one that I can make the most sense out of? And after many considerations of various faith traditions, ultimately the person of Jesus appealed to me in a remarkable way as a historical figure, not a myth, who had answers to questions that I really needed answers for and whose life and death and resurrection seemed to be remarkable.